It was October 1942, when 21-year-old Poon Lim's life changed forever. World War II had gone underway and the Chinese native would soon fight for his life against the elements of the open ocean. Late in the night of October 23, 1942, armored merchant ship SS Bellamon, with Poon on board, was discovered by U-172, who subsequently ordered a torpedo attack on the merchant ship. The attack, which took place some 750 miles away from the Amazon River, fired two torpedoes and sent the merchant ship on its side, causing an explosion in the boiler room. Poon Lim was able to retrieve a life jacket and jump overboard moments before the explosion. Separated from the five other survivors, Poon floated for two hours in the Atlantic Ocean until finally coming across a rescue craft from the SS Ben Lamond. However, Poon's struggle was just only beginning. He would have to face the elements of the open ocean in order to survive. Initially, Poon Lim was able to survive by making use of his life jacket to collect rainwater and fishing with hooks fashioned from the raft's nails and wire from his flashlight. However, after a particularly bad rainstorm cost Poon his supply of fresh water as well as the fish he'd caught, the situation became even more dire. Poon, who had survived the storm by tying himself to his raft, began to feel the effects of starvation. Poon Lim determined that in order to continue to survive, he would have to find a larger source of food, a shark. After killing a bird that had washed up on the raft and drinking its blood for hydration, Poon fixed the bird to a hook made of nails to use as bait. His ingenious plan had worked. And using a jug full of seawater, he was able to subdue, kill, and drink the blood of the shark for hydration, having used the lid of his tin can as a knife. With no navigational tools on the raft, Poon Lim determined that his only chance of survival against the elements was to be rescued by another ship. Throughout his harrowing ordeal, Poon Lim was spotted three times without rescue. First, an unidentified freighter passed him, and despite waving his arms and calling for help, sailed on. Lim could only assume the ship's crew thought the situation was an ambush against them and sailed onward. The second time, a U.S. Navy patrol plane dropped a buoy to mark Lim's location for rescue, but this rescue attempt was thwarted by another rainstorm. Lim's third sighting was by a German submarine identical to the U-172 that sank his merchant ship. This ship was practicing anti-aircraft drills in the area using seagulls, and seeming to find nothing unnerving of the lone man at open sea, sailed away once the drills were completed leaving Poon stranded still. Finally, after four months on the open ocean, Poon Lim's raft floated upon water that was lighter blue than the deep sea water that he'd been stranded in. This could only mean one thing. The shallow water meant that he was close to land. With renewed vigor, Poon Lim grabbed his oar and began rowing his raft in the direction of the lighter water, toward land. After 133 days alone on the sea, on April 5, 1943, Poon Lim's raft landed on the shore of Brazil, where he was discovered by a fisherman. The fisherman took Poon to the hospital, where shortly thereafter his story of survival became famous, first amongst local military personnel and then local population after making the newspaper. Despite spending four months at sea, the hospital soon found that Poon was relatively stable and had suffered no major health problems. Thanks to all the time he spent swimming on the ocean, Poon Lim was able to preserve his muscle mass and prevent the effects of starvation from taking a worse toll on his body. Aside from dehydration and fatigue, he was stable and thus only had to spend four weeks in the hospital. Upon his discharge from the hospital, Poon Lim received transport to the United Kingdom, but first made a stop in the United States to share his harrowing story with U.S. journalists. After sharing his story, he received the British Empire Medal from King George III, and the Royal Navy even included some of his survival techniques into their sailor's training manual. Eventually, Poon emigrated to the United States and, with the help of his notoriety and Washington Senator Warren Magnuson, gained citizenship. Poon Lim spent the remainder of his days peacefully and passed in Brooklyn in 1991.